Hi guys, thank you very much for joining me. Welcome to Root Stem and welcome to today's video looking at the difference between Shabti Bone and Contrast Skeleton Horde. Now one of the reasons I'm looking at these two particular paints today is to see whether or not it's better to use one instead of the other in certain circumstances and the reason for that is because i'm currently painting some i like to paint batches of different models all together to keep my eye in to make sure i'm not getting bored of a particular type of figure i'm currently painting some chaos warriors some iron warriors and i'm painting some dark angels some of you may argue that dark angels are already chaos warriors that's by the by on the chest of the Dark Angels, I am painting a bone style Aquila. This is not the usual traditional old school 80s yellow. We're going for a more of a bone, which is done with you, the standard procedure of Yushabti bone, then some Seraphim CPO over the top, and then of course some Yushabti bone again to try and do a highlight. On the Chaos Warriors, I've been using Contrast Skeleton Horde. And the reason I've been doing that is because I'm trying to get through more figures quickly. So I am using the Skeleton Horde as a way of quickly painting up certain aspects of the Iron Warriors that I'm painting rather than going through the rigmarole of glare, shade, highlight. And I'm just, just so I can actually get it through pretty quick. So what I'm trying to discover is whether or not it's better and you get a better finish or look doing certain things with the old fashioned way, as I call it, or doing it the new way with the skeleton horde. Here is the Iron Warrior, prepped and ready. As you can see, we've got the skeleton horde contrast paint. So apply liberally, although in personal experience, don't apply too much, otherwise it doesn't. When I'm applying contrast, I always kind of grab a bit and then go into what I need it to catch. So if there's a bit of a, a lip there as an example, it's like, don't just pour it on too much. You're wanting the brow to have some of the contrast on it. So I'm, I'm working against it. So I'm kind of moving the brush to make sure that it's leaving the deposits in the recesses and then Taking it down a little and quickly if it's too excessive removing what i need it to remove now i don't remove too much and you've got to be quick some contrast paints are quite slow drying some are very very fast so for the dark angel we've got your shabti bone already painted on that i'm going to go with some seraphim sepia wash again we're kind of doing the same thing we want to push the wash into the recess Now that the surfing sepia has dried, I'm going to go back in. A very simple bone. I'm going to go back in with the shab. And we're just going to pick out all of the edges with some water down the shabti bone. So this is now the finished shabti bone model. And we've got the finished screaming skull. And I don't really see much of a difference. This one looks a little, a little bit muckier. And this one, of course, itself seems to shine through with a bit more of the detailing. The fact that I've gone back over it with the Ushabti bone makes it look a little brighter. I have, just because I was doing it on two different models, I have gone and done, this is a, an eBay, well, not an eBay, it was gifted to me. So I've kind of repainted the chest in the, Gracia and gone over it with the skeleton horde and as you can see that's quite a bit of a not too much of a difference if we can get closer to the actual camera on this hang on so to me there's not much of a difference especially when doing it on something like this um, I'm now blurry on the camera because I'm terrible. There we go. 
Um, so if you're wanting to do something quick, I would personally just, just use the skeleton hoard. Um, I'm kind of trying to go through a lot of figures at the moment. So doing, finding little cheats, little hacks, it's always great. As you can see, I've already painted up the shoulder pad ready for some yellow. And the eyes I've already done with some grey here. Mainly so I can actually do some red lenses on there because I quite like the look of the how it, it gives it a little bit of a sort of like red shine underneath. It's quite good. It's quite nice looking. Um, I should hopefully should be able to show you on if I grab a Iron Warrior. Bring him in. It just leaves a little bit of a recess or a little bit of a overspill as it were it kind of makes it look like it's got a bit of light shining through well thank you very much for watching that guys it wasn't the, it's not the longest of videos it's just something quick and easy just so i could have a look at the difference between two methods as it were i don't always go for a pure contrast method i don't always go for a pure layering method i don't always go for a pure um airbrush method i like to mix it up well thank you very much for watching Hopefully going to get some more videos out now that the new year is coming up. And uh, we will see you next time.